This machine comes with a wide variety of buttonhole styles. We have bar tack buttonholes, keyhole buttonholes, stretch buttonholes, and even a buttonhole for bound buttonholes. I'm going to select the basic bar tack buttonhole 104. So I'm going to come to my function button that looks like a straight stitch in a zigzag, and I'm going to scroll until I see 104. And I'm going to select the stitch, and my screen is telling me that I need to attach the buttonhole foot. But first, I'm going to go to my fabric, which is the same fabric I'm going to use on my project, and I'm going to mark the top of the buttonhole. And then I'm going to make a guideline. I highly recommend sewing on a piece of scrap fabric like your project before sewing on your actual project. So here's our buttonhole foot. And this particular buttonhole foot comes with an underplate, which sandwiches our fabric and helps prevent any slipping of the fabric. I'm going to pull down on this top part, insert my button, and push it back up. Now it's going to sew the right size for my button. Remove the presser foot that's on the machine, and attach the buttonhole foot. And sometimes the feed teeth kind of grab onto it, so just wiggle it around until you get in the right position where you can lower this, and snap the foot into place. Then lower the buttonhole lever between the two white pieces. Take your fabric, and line the top part of your marking so that it's in this hole. Lower the presser foot, and begin sewing. The machine will stop sewing when the buttonhole is done. Press the automatic thread trimmer, raise the presser foot, and here's your buttonhole. Now I need to open up my buttonhole so I can put my button through it. Take a pin and insert it at the top of the buttonhole. This way, we don't slice through the bar tack. In your accessory tray is a seam ripper, and this is also super useful for opening up buttonholes. Insert it at the bottom and carefully work your way up to the top. Remove the pin, and now the buttonhole is ready for your button. Now let's see how to change a needle.